What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Critical Overlord. Here, so we talk about Jeepers Creepers four again. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. We're going to be talking about the fact of we know that Lane is going to be having visions and premonitions of the Creeper and the town's past. We're all again assuming she's still in the pole hole area. We know it's tied to the first two and I guess the third film as well. We know it's tied to the other films. This isn't a complete remake or anything like that. It is the sequel that we all have been patiently waiting for, hopefully, in terms of it being placed 23 years after the events of that second film film that we got nearly almost 20 years ago in and of itself next year i think will be the 20th anniversary for jeepers creepers 2 so lane will be having visions and we don't yet know what of course those visions are going to be and what they will reveal but i have been thinking about the possibility of this being something that many of you might find interesting in terms of what could perhaps be displayed and maybe you would want to see this happen lane the, however these visions start happening what if the visions are revealing things that we have never seen actually happen in detail but we know that they've happened based off of things that have been told to us from characters like trisha and Derry, and just from us seeing it happen in jeepers creepers 2 but never actually seen certain characters demises we just know it was heavily implied that they died or it was told to us that they died so like for instance what if lane has a vision of kenny and darla being killed on their prom night back in 1978 the wheaton valley prom king and queen what if there's a vision that jumps what if there's a premonition of, of her or she has a premonition jumping back to kenny and darla and we get to see those actual events unfold not in complete detail but glimpses of it and then of course you would be it would rely on you as the as the viewer to know who those people are based off of the details that i guess they could put in place being very distinct uh, or, or being very uh, making certain things about the character stand out in these quick little premonitions that she has uh, for instance one of the one of them I don't know which one I don't remember Kenny or Darla they had a ring on their finger this for Wheaton Valley so maybe like a shot of that while they're getting attacked can help you indicate that you're seeing Kenny and Darla get killed other than that of course them saying kenny and darla <laughs> why they while we see them briefly get killed before lane snaps back out of it would also be a thing that would confirm that we could see how the how the three coaches from the second film died how scotty died We're, when it relates to the three coaches i'm thinking mostly about just seeing how Co coach i don't know his last name was i'll just say coach charlie how did coach charlie die because uh, we know he basically they the creeper basically just picked them all up before he of course started messing with the kids on the bus so getting to see what he did to those coaches i think would be something that would satisfy a lot of us lane could have a premonition of that or a vision of that as it relates to the town's past we could see her have a vision of the creeper himself hanging in taggart's barn that could be how we see taggart's barn brought back into this film she could have a vision of the creeper just hanging on the taggart barn before reawakening and then of course that's when her feelings of terror and just this feeling disturbed will only be heightened and amplified because she has had a vision of something that she can't really explain she'll probably try to deny it and ignore it when speaking to chase about it depending on how severe it gets up until of course the creeper takes her from the horror hound festival and chase has to come save her and then she'll of course explain what was going on at the festival and that the thing she was having visions about is what took her etc we could see a vision of what the creeper did to scotty scotty is another character who we did not see his death scotty's death was just implied we saw the creeper literally fly off into the air go up high with scotty disappear never heard from scotty again there was going to be a bit in jeepers creepers 2 where we were going to see like a military base bunker acting as another one of the creepers layers and i think that's where we would have saw where he took some of the members of the bus when he took them such as scotty perhaps so maybe one of lane's premonitions could be showing us scotty's death and we could see what the creeper did with scotty now again these premonitions wouldn't necessarily be overly long but there's of course going to be there would be things factored into them for you to know that hey i'm seeing scotty's death never i never got to see that you could see how scotty died you could get to see bit little glimpses of what it was like on the night Kenny and, Kenny and darla died because lane is having a vision of it you could get to see what what the creeper did to those coaches also 
what did the creeper do to Billy? Like, I'm just thinking, what if Lane just has visions and premonitions that are solely tied to the creeper and the horrible things that he's done in the past to the victims that we know are out there, but we never actually got to see them die because it was just talked about or because they were just characters who the creeper flew off with and it was implied that they died, but we never actually got to see it on screen in the films in which they died in, such as mostly Jeepers Creepers 2. So seeing what happened to Billy, I know would be something that would definitely satisfy me because Billy looked messed up <laughs> when he and Jerry were in Minxie's vision. I would love to see what happened to him or look, get a little bit more of an understanding what happened to him. So and of course, again, there would have to be some stuff in there for you to know that that's supposed to be Billy. Maybe we see that he took all of these people from the second film to a to a location. And that's one of Lane's visions that she's that she has. And we see Scotty hanging on a wall. We see Billy hanging on the wall. We see all the other three coaches hanging on the wall. And maybe that's just one big premonition that Lane has as it relates to stuff that the Creeper has done in the past. Just having premonitions because he's about to reawaken. And then she finally could have a premonition of the Creeper reawakening in the Taggart barn. We could see a glimpse of old man Taggart sitting there before the Creeper reawakens and maybe that's how the creeper and the barn that the creeper resides in at the moment will get factored into the upcoming film i just wanted to share that and talk about some of the things that could potentially be shown as it relates to lane and her premonitions the thing that i think if they were to do is that would excite many of you would be the kenny and darla one if she were to actually have a premonition that got to show us the fans and people who have been watching this franchise for many years and you heard about Kenny and Darla many years ago in the original film 20 years ago at this point uh getting to see just what happened to them just a, a, a little tidbit of it what what happened on the night they went missing maybe we could see them on their prom night and just other little glimpses that Lane could have as it relates to the visions that that come come across to her and how it impacts Lane and how she puts it all together uh she of course wouldn't know these people but we would as the viewer we would know it It would just be something that's mostly designed to satisfy us if you've had those dying questions of what did the creeper do to those people so let me know what you guys think about the potential chance of laying having those type of visions would you like that if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.